Okay, I'm going to show you how to make the dinosaur from my stuffed animal book, which is 50% off the month of September. That makes it $15. Um, it'll go on sale again probably around Thanksgiving, and um, it definitely will go on sale at Christmas. Okay, so you can use any 24 peg loom. I'm using the 3 8 inch gauge. You can use any 24 peg loom. All right, we're going to start on the head. And it says to draw a string cast on 24 pegs. <laughs> so I'm going to do my draw a string cast on. And I'm going to be working flat. Okay. So then we go back the direction we came and we get to that last peg. Alright. So the dinosaur is actually fairly easy. Okay. So this is row 1 through 14 is to just knit back and forth, okay? So what you're going to do is just knit back and forth for 14 rows, okay? So 14 rows back and forth. Pause the video, get that much done. And when we come back, we'll be ready to do row 15, which includes an internal decrease from 24 to 12 pegs. All right, so pause the video, get your 14 rows done, and we'll come back and do the snout area. Okay, I have completed 14 rows, as you can see. I already pulled on my drawstring. Okay, at this point, it says that we are going to do an internal decrease from 24 pegs to 12 pegs. And what I find, I think, is that everybody thinks it's easier as you move the stitch over to decrease, knit two together, move over, knit two together, and just do this all the way around, and then you can just bring them all together and tighten your stitches. That way you don't have to worry about dropping any. Okay, then what you do is you go in and you pick up the six stitches, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six. She so should have 12 stitches left. Put the stitches back onto the And where your stitches are all side by side. Over here, pick these up. Place them side by side. Okay, all your stitches should be side by side now. I'm going to find your tail. 
your working out, which is over here. You're going to go to the opposite side and you're going to start tightening those stitches, working your way back. And the tighter you do it, the more distinguished your snout area will be. went from 24 picks to 12 picks. Okay, at this point, you're going to do six rows of knit. So you're going to just knit back and forth for six rows. Alright. So, pause the video. Six rows. We'll come back. Okay, at this point, it says to bind off, so nothing special. You just knit that second stitch, take it back one, toss the bottom loop over, move over to the next stitch, knit the next one, take it back one, toss the bottom loop over. Continue getting all those off, and then we'll come back and start on the neck. Okay, we have finished our head, and when you go to try sewing it up, you want to sew up the bottom, and then you'll want to fold it flat, and sew it that way, so that you have a flat area for the nose. Now, I'll have to show you how to close up the back using the star method back here. Okay. But in the meantime, we're going to switch over and we're going to do our neck. We'll just go ahead and do all the parts. So what it says to do, is it says to draw a string cast on 12 pegs. So here's 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we're doing this flat. 12. working back the other direction. Okay. At this point you want to knit six rows forth. So pause the video, complete your six rows, and then we'll start on row seven. Okay, I've done my six rows, and we're on row seven, and we want to create a bend in the neck. So what we're doing is we are knitting 11. So here's one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we've knitted eleven. Then it says to wrap and turn. So you're going to go behind the next peg, wrap behind it, and go to the front and turn. Now it says to knit ten. Here's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it says to wrap behind the next peg and turn. Then it says to knit nine. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. And then you're going to wrap behind the next peg and turn. Then it says to knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you wrap behind and turn. You should have two wrap and turns on both sides. And then it says to knit seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wrap and turn. Knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wrap and turn. Knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then it says to knit six, knit two together. So you're going to knit one, two, three, four, five, six. Knit two together. Knit seven, knit two together, and so forth. And this is where you start adding your wrap and turns back in. So you knit your way over, and then you knit over the wrap and turn peg. And you start with the peg you finished with, and you make your way over. process until you don't have any more wrap and turns. Okay, that finishes row 7. So now what you want to do is knit rows 8 through 19 and you're going to basically be knitting for 12 rows. So go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and knit for 12 rows and then we'll come back and finish the neck, okay? Okay, I have completed my 12 rows and at this point I am going to bind off. Okay, and it's pretty standard bind off, just like we did for the nose area. So you're just going to bind off like you normally would. Nothing special, okay? And then we will start on the body. So go ahead and pause the video and bind off and we will come back and I'll show you how you go about sewing up your neck so that you can go ahead and stuff it and then we'll start on the body, okay? Alright, so pause the video and finish your bind off. Okay, so we've bound off and what you want to do is you want to sew this edge here and then you can stuff. Now if you're doing your head, you'll want to put your head up here on the long side. This is going to attach to the body, okay? So there you have it. So go ahead and sew that up right down through here and keep this open and keep this open because you're going to be attaching it to 
um, this side to the head, this side to the body, okay? So pause the video and get that much done. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is get started on our body. And what it says to do is you're going to draw a string cast on 24 pegs, and it says to actually do it circularly. So we're going to go in and we're going to weave in and out all the way around. Circular. So you weave in and all the way around. Then you're going to just start tossing the bottom loop over all the way around. Then after we get done doing our drawstring cast on, it says to knit for four rows. Okay. So. Okay, so at this point it says row 1 through 4 is to knit. So what you're going to do is you're going to knit for 4 rows. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and knit for 4 rows and we'll come back and we'll start row 5 which has a, um, which is where you're going to start learning how to do legs. Okay. Okay, I've done my four rows. I'm fixing to start on row five. And what it says to do, starting out in parentheses, which means you're going to be doing a short row section. It says you're going to be, it says leg, and it says knit six for 29 rows. Bring original loop back on pegs one and six. Okay. Mark this section of the video because it's a repeat and I will not be going back to it once I show it. So this is the leg. So when I say to do another leg, you're going to go into the next six slots and you're going to do a leg just like we're doing right here. So count over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I'm not going to do the fancy modular knitting so that you don't have to sew it. I'm just going to do it the way it's written. Um, the only thing I'm going to do a little differently is knit the last stitch, slip the first stitch of each row so that you can have a nice clean chain to work from. Okay, so here's how this works. You're going to knit for 29 rows. So here is row 1. Okay, and here is going to be row two. Okay. And row three. And row four. So you can see the patterning that is going on here. And you're going to do this for a total of 29 rows, okay? And um, so you want to pause the video, complete your 29 rows, and then when we come back, I'll finish showing you how to complete the leg section and, and the pattern. It says you're going to complete another leg in the next six, which is over here, okay? So pause the video and complete your 29 rows and we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish up the leg. Okay, you can see here's your leg here, see? You'll be sewing it up later. You are supposed to have a hole here, right? You'll be sewing it up later. All right, so what it says to do after you do 29 rows is to bring the original loops back on pegs one and nine. 
Okay. All right. That completes the leg. Now, also, when it comes to later in the video, when I say repeat rows 5 through 11, you're going to come back here. All right. You're going to come right back here. You're going to follow this. All right. 5 through 11. So, I'm going to show you that the next section is also a leg. So, it says leg, which means you repeat exactly what we just did here. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. You're going to do the exact same thing that we did on this leg here. All right. As you can see, right here in the next six X. All right. So you repeat exactly what we just did. And then when you finish with that and bring your original loops back, then you're just going to knit back to your starting point. When we come back, I'll explain rows 7 through 11. And then after that, I'll explain what rows 12 through 19 is. Okay? So pause the video, get your other leg done, and then knit your way back to the starting point. Okay, I have done row five where I have two legs and I've knitted my way around. Now on row six, it's to get everything back down to um, one stitch. So on those, bring original loops back with two stitches on it. You're gonna knit the two together and then knit your way over. Knit the two stitches together. I'll take those off. Knit the two stitches together. Knit your way over. And knit the two stitches together and finish knitting your way around. Okay, then the next thing is row 7 through 11, which is 5 rows. Okay, so you're going to knit 5 rows, and then you're going to repeat this all over again, where you do the leg row, then you do this row, and then you do another 5 rows. All right. So because there's so much of a repeat section here, I'm going to assume you can handle this, okay? So at this point, you're going to now knit for five rows, so five rows in the round, okay? Then it says on rows 12 through 19, you're going to repeat rows 5 through 11. So you repeat the leg row again. So go back in the video and repeat the leg row, okay? And then you're going to get all your stitches back down to one, which is what row six is, and then you're going to knit another five rows, okay? So you're going to repeat everything we just did from the leg row on to five rows of knit, okay? So you're gonna get all that done. You're gonna have, when we come back, you should have four legs and five rows of knit after you have your four legs in place. At that point, we should be on row 20 when we come back and that's where we start decreasing for the tail area. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, knit your five rows, then do another leg row, then do another row that gets all your stitches back down to one stitch, and then do another five rows, okay? And when we come back, we should be on row 20. Okay, so here we are. We have our four legs, okay, with our five rows in between, as you can see there. And then I've done five more rows after, because there's my legs, and you can see my five more rows after. All right. So, now, we're ready to start decreasing towards the tail, and this is how we're going to do it. All right. So, on row 20, it says to knit 
six. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, it says to start working flat in the other direction and knit for 24. If you need to know where that ending point is, put a stitch marker there, all right? So you know where that 24 is all the way around. So at this point, you're going to go back the direction you came and you're gonna knit 24, okay? So you're gonna knit all the way around. And what this is doing it's creating enough give so that you can start decreasing from that point where that stitch marker is back there, okay? And it'll start making sense because rows 21 through 30, you are decreasing every single row. And what that's doing is tapering off that tail in a quick hurry, okay? And it's going to repeat itself over and over again until you are down to four stitches. Okay. And here is where you stopped. Okay. So now you are on row 21. And what you are doing is you are decreasing that outer stitch over. You're going to take this stitch over here and you're going to move it over one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to knit two together and then you're going to knit all the way around. It says to knit 20 because we already decreased our ends, because it says to decrease and then knit two together at the other end. Okay, and this is the reason why I do it at the beginning of each row, and I will explain what's going on with this. All right, I'm only going to show this a couple of times, and I'm going to leave it to you to continue that decreasing on the end until you're down to four stitches. Okay. So I've knit the two together. Now we're on to row 22. You're going to move that outer stitch over one. Okay, and you're going to move this outer stitch over one. And then you're going to knit the two together, knit around, and knit the two together. This is the process we're doing. You're just going to keep decreasing every row until you are down to a total of four stitches, okay? And when I complete this row, I'm going to tell you to pause the video and continue decreasing until you're down to those four stitches. And we should be coming back and starting from row 31, and then we should be able to finish up this body, okay? and knit two together. Okay, I'm going to show you. You're going to decrease again. You're going to move that outer stitch over. You're going to come over and move this outer stitch over and knit your way around. So, pause the video. Keep decreasing until you're down to four stitches, which should be where we come back. We'll be on row 31. Okay, so pause the video and get that much done, and then we will go from there. Okay, so as you can see, I'm down to four stitches. This is what it should basically be looking like. There's a big old hole in the back. Four legs. Okay. So, at this point, row 31 says to knit. Row 32 says to decrease again. So, knit 
two together. Bring it two together. Okay, now it says to knit for six rows. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then it says to bind off, and at this point, because you only have two stitches, you can just take it over, pull the bottom one over, wrap, cut your ends. You want to leave enough to sew. Pull through. At this point, you are done with your loom so that you can put it onto the side. Okay. So, what you want to do. Sew up your tail, okay, then you want to, and I use my chains to make sure I can sew on the very edge, so I'm going to sew my legs up, okay, so you can sew your legs up, so I usually send the needle, sew down, and sew across, send the needle through, and sew down, then I gently pull it up through here, not pulling it too tight, so send it through the leg, so, so, send it through the leg, and so. All right, and that's how I close the body up. So you want to sew your body together. Go ahead and stuff, and you should have your neck, head, your neck should be sewn and stuffed. And then um, you should have your snout at least sewn up. Remember, you're sewing up your snout, pushing it flat, and sewing this flat while that seam is up on the middle. Okay, on the middle there. All right. And then um, I wanted to show you how to close off the back using the star method. Okay. And. Um, That's not a difficult thing to do. So go ahead and connect your sides. Okay. So you have kind of a big hole. I'm going to close that up. Okay. By doing a star. So you're going to go to the top, send the needle through. Go back down to the bottom, but not quite. Just like drawing a star. And that's what we're going to do. And then go to the side. And send it through there. Go to the other side. Send it through there. Just like drawing a star. And then you're going to send it back through. Slightly above the bottom. Where you had started. Okay. Then you're going to just pull it. And what that does, it closes it off. See? And when you do that, you may want to sew down just a little bit down the back edge. Shouldn't be much. Okay. And one more time, and then I'm going to knot it off. All right. After you close the back of the head and sew up the snout area and stuff. So you want to pause the video, sew the parts of your body up, sew the neck up, stuff, stuff, stuff. 
So when we come back, we'll be ready to completely assemble our dinosaur, okay? So pause the video and get that much done. And we'll come back and we'll assemble where I show you how to sew the neck onto the body and then the head onto the neck, okay? Okay, I've got all my parts together. As you can see, i got my body, my neck, and my head. I'll lift this up. Okay, so I am going to sew my neck on, which is the short side. Now, when stuffing, it's the challenge to stuff enough, but not too much. Okay. Alright, so what you want to do, you want to make sure that your neck is going to be sitting up. So. Knot it and then send it through the body. So your head on. Now before doing so, you may want to cinch your eye area, okay? And it depends on if you want the eyes on the side or on the front, okay? It's entirely up to you. It's a dinosaur. So. If you're going to do the eyes to the front, then you'll want to send it up and out like that at the base where that decrease is. Okay, but I think I want to go a little closer to the front and on the side. So I'm going to go there. And what I do is I send it through, and then I'm going to send it directly across to make sure that it's in the right zone. I'll pull it and send it back through. And pull. Okay, and that way you can add. You can hot glue some eyes in, but if you cinch the eyes after adding, say, safety eyes, you want to go above and below the eyes and do that technique. Okay. Now, I have my eye area cinched, and I'll just be hot gluing in some rhinestones. You'd be surprised at how well the eyes hold up onto the knitted garment. Okay, so at this point, you're just going to sew your head on. Okay, once you get that, then you close it off. Now send it through the neck. And then I'm just going to hot glue on some eyes. And there you have it. Now it's how you make a dinosaur.